All right, so I'm going to be showing you the E3 virtual tour thingy that uh, PlayStation gave us to look at through PlayStation Home. It's basically all the E3 booths that PlayStation has at the actual E3 in California that they've simulated into PlayStation Home, which is pretty badass. I had no idea they did this last year, so this is the first time I've been, I'm ever experiencing it, so let's check it out. So there's... Um, Supposedly a lot of uh, connection errors. I already tried this like a couple minutes ago and it logged me out because of a network error. This is when I tried the PlayStation E3 booth 2010. Let's try and get into it now. I just finished watching um, Nintendo and Sony's presentation today, so... That's how I found out about this uh, PlayStation Home thing from Sony's presentation. Alright, fuck yes, we're in. Alright, so this is it. This is what it looks like at E3, supposedly. Alright, so here's a store thing. It's loading, hang on. Cabin boy. Little bastard hoodie. Little Mrs. Hoodie. Cabin boy bundle. They're supposedly um, giving away free stuff. That's what they said in the presentation, so I'm going to try and look out for that. That's why I'm checking all this crap right now. PSN games. Ooh. NCAA football 2011 demo. Sweet. I'll add that in. So right here you can get the NCA 2011 demo. Alright, what do we have here? Just a screen. Watch all trailers get access to VIP area. Okay, so I guess we gotta watch some trailers and we can lock some more areas into this place. Yeah, this is pretty badass. I had no idea they did this last year, like I said, so this is like super new to me. Yeah, during that presentation, they were all up into the whole PlayStation Move thing. That was probably like half of their presentation. Just a bunch of TV so far. Okay, um, where do we watch trailers? Let's see. What is this? So calm. Oh, here we go. View trailer. I guess this is the So Calm 4 trailer. So here we go. And I didn't watch Microsoft's yesterday for some reason. I forgot. Which I don't know why. Because I really wanted to watch that for the Gears presentation. But I was able to catch that on YouTube. Like right after the PlayStation one. So that was good.
Intel 6-4, this is Fisher 2, who's on the ground. Don't know his name, sir. I heard he was responsible for that uh, business in the cargo. Any other friendly assets report in? Uh, negative. That's a negative, Fisher 2. Where do you want us, Commander? Get to cover. Copy. Objective sighted. The hell? Okay, cool. Alright, that was SOCOM 4. Ooh, Little Big Planet 2. We just watched this, didn't we? Oh, damn it. How do you watch this one? Oh, that's Motor Storm? Wow. That was pretty badass. Wow, alright. I didn't see some of the trailers for PlayStation's presentations, so some of these are kind of new to me, too. Here's one that they announced, like, right at the end. This is their surprise one. Freaking Twisted Metal, finally, eh? Drive, nothing. Those games had both skill and strategy. You're racing in a city, going 100 miles per hour, blasting everything as you go. Speed, strategy, skill. Those games were awesome. Maybe back in your day, sweetheart, but look, you name me one car combat game, one car combat game that was as good on PlayStation 1, kicked ass on PlayStation 2, and kicked even more ass on PS3. The ultimate ass kicking. Name it. Uh... That's right. You can't do it because it doesn't exist. Now get back to work, punk. Oh, uh, uh, I'm a punk. Don't kick my cab. Punk.